maintaining cosmic consciousness. This is a guided visualization meditation using your own imagination to draw you closer to your cosmic consciousness. Breathe in. Just relax. Slowly breathe in. And slowly breathe out. Take your time getting comfortable. Breathe in love. Breathe in desire and breathe out any stress. This is a guided visualization meditation using your own imagination to draw you closer to your cosmic consciousness, your pure imagination. You're free with me. You're plopped back against the fluffy pillows. The blankets feel soft like velvet against your body. It's comforting. As you touch the pillows, they feel as soft as silk on your fingertips. You realize you're not wearing many clothes, but you don't feel exposed or uncomfortable, but rather playful and perfect in this space, right where you belong, as if you were meant to be here. You feel relaxed and desire to explore more into your cosmic consciousness. Take a deep breath and inhale all the lovely smells of the beautiful room. A hint of sweet and woody scents with notes of lemon drops. It's a cozy room you're in with lovely and romantic images. You smell lovely flowers. Many warm candles lit all around the room. The paintings are equally as lovely. You are right where you feel you belong as you stare at the scenes of sunshine, happiness, and beauty. You hear soft music guiding you somewhere new, playing in the background guiding you. Everything feels so natural, so easy, and you feel you are exactly at the right place at the right time with the right energy. You start to trust yourself in this new glow. You want to stay in that glow. Your new glow. You slowly close your eyes as the setting sun paints in the sky with the muted shades of coral fading into a lighter pink, blanketed by the lavender and gray, blue, purple of dusk. Pinpoints of light spring up everywhere flickering like fireflies in the growing darkness. You slowly close your eyes. You find yourself down in the harbor. A chain of gold outlined the curve of the bay and a cruise ship lay at the anchor out in the water, bejeweled with diamond chip bright lights from boat to stern. A crystal ship to behold at dusk in the waiting dark. Taking in the evening scene as the sea breeze softly begins to tease the tendrils of your hair and face. On to Nirvana. The next morning dawn warm and breezy in the mind's eye. Through the hills, along the waterfront, 
where the golden balls of spent mimosa, blown by the wind, scattered on the ground in a soft yellow carpet against your bare feet. You find yourself living in all the beauty of spring that could shed itself so quickly and be swept away beyond the recalling fall of leaves. The fall of the leaves of the mimosa turns softly in the wind that blew gustily across the sand and ruffled the sapphire blue water with small white caps. Your journey is soon interrupted by the sight and sounds of thousands of red tulips swaying, dancing, singing in the fields. And you think to yourself, this is everything that is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this before. A place where all the flowers have faces and speak. Inside a psychedelic garden, a garden where only we can trip on seven different colors. Seven different colors no one else has ever seen. Where are we? And where are we going, you wonder, in childlike awe? The hills continued with the sun behind them as its shine came full over the mountains and filtered through the valleys. It was an ideal day with not a cloud in the sky in your cosmic consciousness. On wings soaring high above the pink clouds, on this new day of your cosmic consciousness, off to the sea, a fairyland of sorts, a dream ablaze with a long history behind it, with season, oh nirvana. You continue up the coast road on foot until you reach the little ramshackle town off a of black top road, taking an unsurfaced track to a magnificent viewpoint above the bay where the sun and the sea sparkle through a verdant landscape of carob and eucalyptus trees. You continued on foot one velvet morning, walking up a dirt path through what appeared to be an enchanted garden of fig, carob, and bamboo trees. Shards of sunbeams glowed through the trees, branches exposing flowers, giving off the perfume of reminiscence of lily of the valley and hyacinth and orange blossoms. The air was aromatic with the fragrance of wild flowers and herbs. A night blooming jasmine kind of day turned into night. A symphony of birds and insects sang over the echo of not too distant falling water. Slowly you walk down a gradual path with a sloping ravine where the footpath ended in front of a grotto. Crystal clear, lucid water tumbled over the small cave and bubbled down amid wild fig and vine plants, then flowed gently into a natural pool hollowed into rocks. The water that flows over the rock and into this pool comes from a freshwater spring that bubbles up from some mysterious source over the cave. Inhale and exhale as you gaze into the crystalline spring. What do you see in the crystalline spring? Only your cosmic consciousness knows. Take a few moments to see within your third eye. What does your cosmic consciousness have to share today? What does it bring to share with you today? What gifts? Does it bestow you inside the images of the crystalline spring? Be good to yourself with those beautiful thoughts. And just breathe in and out. Whatever you do, just keep breathing. Focus on your breathing. You can feel it. You can feel that you are not alone. That's right, you are not alone, my lovely. You are never alone because wherever you go, there you are, my sweet child. So come back. Come back to me now in the gathering gloom. Come back to me. Come back to Earth, my child. Come back. 
Let me lead you through the doors of evolution, into light, down to the river to pray, to a stone-carved bench behind low-hanging trees, to kneel down to cup the spring water in your palm and drink. It's icy and refreshing, especially after that dusty walk up that long path you just took here. They say whoever drinks from the spring will surely be filled with love. So drink from the cup of love and the cup of life as your cup runneth over. Oh, Nirvana. In a clearing along the side of a forest, you see a path leading down a steep slope onto a beautiful white sand beach surrounded by rocky crags and palms trees. Close by was a cove where the tents of campers dotted the sea on the beach. Out in the harbor, a few small yachts were moored as you set your gaze toward the turquoise seas for a moment. Gazing at the restless surface of the sea, you smell the sweet smells of the evening. The air was filled once again with the fragrance of wildflowers in the ocean. You notice the taste of sea salt, delicate on your lips. And you long for one last first kiss in the golden rays of sunset that spread from the west to the rugged heights of the distant mountains, setting them aglow like the pale embers of a dying fire. Over the cast of expanse of the sea, Violet clouds sailed, silk velvet, and scalloped up the hem like snowy white petticoats beneath a skirt of gathered dark blue skies. You can hear the steady beat of your own heart quicken as you quietly stand there. The soft twilight in your eyes swept away the daylight, dragging its blanket of darkness behind it until the full moon's luster began to brush the tiny wavelets, edging the moon water with a silver radiance. It was anyone's guess how long you had been there, like this, in reflective silence. Laying there in the warm night sand, silent, looking up at the scudding clouds that curled into silvery, tinseled, star-sprinkled threads that momentarily mask the moon. Can you feel the magic as you catch the twinkling of moonlight in your eyes? You stand up, brush sand off yourself. You see a lantern in the distance at a table. As you walked up the path alone leading to the road, you realize you were very alone in the infinite dark. Only the moon was low and the western sky like a bright, blood orange above the trees, giving the outline of the forest an eerie glow in the dark night of the soul. You can't see the light of the lantern anywhere. You search the dark, but perhaps it had gone out. You persist on your journey. You persist on your journey in the dark, and before long, the light of the lantern appears again. It was so bright you hold your hand up to block the light. Between the throes of dreams and restless slumber, in the distance, you could hear the cries of owls and somewhere the half-sung song of a nightingale. The chill in the earlier air was replaced by humid warmth. Low-hung clouds covered the stars. Off in the distance, you see the first jagged streaks of lightning as a late spring storm made ready to come ashore. The glowing embers of a small fire in the lantern comforts you as a clap of thunder resounded across the beach. The thunder resounded again and the wind blew in a great blustery gust over the growing and the approaching of the storm. The wind howled and picked up the sand, swirling it around you as the wind picked up, driving the storm closer inland off the sea. A 
bolt of lightning lit up the beach as the silvery waves thundered and were already turning into gray-white foam as the rain swept across the ocean. You feel the first big raindrops of cool, sharp water touch your skin. The deluge would hit any minute now. Surely this isn't the end of you in this beautiful new story you're writing. Surely you know who you are by now and who you will be when you get to the end of you too. You'll see. You'll see in the dark and rainy night as lightning flashed outside the window of your dark night of the soul. Come back to earth, my child, and run through the wet sand. Feel it against your feet. You're rooted in this earth and grounded by its clap of thunder as you roll through this breath of life. Like the sky followed by opaque sheets of blinding rain. Who will you be when you get to the end of you? Stood up on the deserted beach, your eyes bright with unshed tears. Suddenly the dawn came. And suddenly when the dawn came for you in pearl and gray at first, fading into a pale rose, slowly flaring to saffron before its full glory of crimson and flame splashed across the sea. High in the branches of the trees, evergreens in the nearby forest, a mockingbird trilled its tender, melodious song to the awakening world. An awakening world where the storm was just a dream? Or was it just your cosmic consciousness? Look again with your third eye at your cosmic thoughts. Come to the edge and see. You will see. You will see what you've always known to be true. Seeing isn't always believing. Sometimes you just know at the water's edge. A spotted sandpiper merrily bobbed its tail up and down in its happy dance across the sand while the seagulls echoed their good morning cries as they sailed and circled through the heavens. You hear the words on wind from shamans before and beyond us. And rest, I'll take care of the rest. You scan the beach and notice it was deserted. The sunbathers and the campers of yesterday were gone. You inhale the fresh air and it seemed to always clear your mind. The inviting water of the pink-tinged turquoise sea beckons to you as you look around again to make sure that the beach is deserted. You quickly remove your shirt and run down the shore and into the water. And when it was deep enough, you dive under, swimming back and forth until your arms begin to tire. The warm water on your bare skin seemed to give you a new sense of spiraling exhilaration. Difficulties drift from your mind as you roll over on your back and float until you duck under the water and smooth your hair back from your face to chase away the excess moisture. You're in the shallower water now where you easily stand. You see a circle of high cliffs that looked impossible to pass before, but you were headed for the high rocks, stood up in the water anyways. To your surprise, it was deceptively shallow, so you followed through the gentle waves towards the cliffs, stopped in front of the sheer rock. To your surprise, you've pulled yourself through an overlapping, hidden opening between two high rocks. There before you was a hidden cove. The water turned into a sapphire blue lagoon that ended at a white sand beach. The shore was lush with an oasis of small palm and fig trees and surrounded by 
high sheer cliffs that look like miniature mountains. So into the lagoon you go, making your way to the beach. Through the water, as it grew deeper, when you walked out of the water, you saw a blanket spread out, shaded under an oasis of palm. In all, you look around at your surroundings. It was beautiful. High cliffs hugged the secluded beach, and back in the curve of them, you saw a cave bordered by more low palms and lemon trees. You could hear running water in the distance and saw a stream of clear sapphire waters flowing from the direction of the cave, through the grove of trees, and out into the lagoon. That's fresh water coming from the cave. There's a waterfall in there that runs over some rocks and into another pool. Yeah, that's the real bathing spot of Aphrodite and Adonis. You could see the fronds of the palms overhead that shaded them from the peachy lavender sky. You realize you slept here before, though it only was just moments ago that it felt like you arrived in time that led you to the cave with a little waterfall. You see the lantern appear again on a rock slipped in a crevice to opening by the waterfall. Immersing yourself into the liquid warmth, you dip a palm into fresh water and dribble it over your shoulder. You look up as the stars hang brightly above the cascading waterfall into the shallow waterfall of pools behind stars falling. The light from the lantern dancing through the waterfall giving the shadows an ethereal blanket of shine. You look up as the stars hang brightly above the cascading waterfall into the shallow water of the pool behind the falls. The light from the lantern danced through the waterfall, giving the shadows an ethereal gossamer blur. You blink and find yourself along a mountain road that led away from the seacoast. The road inclined gradually through the dappled sunlight of the mountain foothills. Clad in pine, cypress, and Lebanon cedar trees, in every shade of green etched against a pale sky of soft blue. Soon passing through one picturesque little settlement after another, with the mountains crowding around you and vineyards everywhere, taking in the breathtaking scenery. Eventually, a vast expanse of hills and valleys stretched from the foot of the mountain range, cradling the rivers that flowed westward to the sea. But it was high, fierce, and seemingly impenetrable peaks themselves that dominated everything. Close your eyes and soon be lulled to sleep by the hum of your own heartbeat. It was very late in the afternoon, and you're in awe where you're going now. It's not far now at all. You see an aura, a spirit guide, an angel, whatever it may be in your cosmic conscious, your cosmic partner, you, you and only you. You're the one, the only one, to make it feel this way. A soft voice calling out to you, saying, you are safe here. Let's take a walk, and I'll answer any question you may have. As they take your hand, gently pulling you along before you have a chance to refuse. Walking in silence along the road, hand in hand, until you come to a path leading you deep into the middle of an orange grove until you couldn't see anything except the trees around you both, mountaintops and blue skies. Two little benches were placed adjacent to each other in a grassy knoll. Did you come here to read? 
or just daydream. Only you, your cosmic consciousness knows. And this can be a secret hiding spot till you can remember why you are here in your cosmic consciousness. You, you and only you, your cosmic partner and you, you know you. You know who you will be when you get to the end of you too. And you just feel so damn lucky to be alive and breathing. So damn lucky to be alive and witness this transformation in yourself. Maybe even in others too. In any way, shape, or form. You know that you are the magic one. And that pleases you. <laughs> as you drive on in the silence and watch as nightfall blanketed the land. Only to be lit up by the Milky Way of white stars chased by the orange three-quarter of a fall hunter's moon as it rose up over the east. A blue line in a red sky. Fly with me, dream chasers, fly. You are safe. You are free. You are love. You are cosmic consciousness.